We're given two functions, f of x and g of x, they're graphs. And our goal on this problem is to work a composition of functions where we have one function plugged into another one. We're gonna evaluate it as we go. So we wanna evaluate f composed with g of one and g composed with f of five. Now, another way to write this first one is we could say f composed with g of one, that composition symbol, that little circle in the middle, that means the exact same thing as f composed with g of one as written down below. So if it did contain that composition symbol initially, my first step would be to rewrite it um, as it looks on the bottom line. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring along the outer function. So in this case, f is our outer function. And we're gonna evaluate from the inside out. So we wanna evaluate g of one and it's gonna go inside this set of parentheses. So to do so, what we wanna do is use g of x as graph. So the one on the left-hand side, evaluate this at one. So on our graph, we're gonna be plugging in an x value of one. And as we plug that into g, we're gonna be outputting the y value is gonna be three. So that can go inside of our function f down below inside that bigger set of parentheses. All right, from here, what we wanna do is evaluate f of three. So we're gonna to go to f's graph over on the right-hand side and x value of three gets plugged in. So we're identifying the point on the graph. So we can say, when you plug in an x value of three, we're gonna output a y value of six. So f of three equals six. All right, next let's switch up the order on the right-hand example. We wanna figure out g composed with f of five. So this time around, we're gonna start on the inside again. We're gonna say f of five and the g comes along, work from the inside out. So f of five, we're gonna use f scrav on the right-hand side. And when we input a five in for an x value, we wanna identify this point on our graph and say f of five is gonna give you a y value of two. So that goes inside the set of parentheses. All right, to finish this up, we still need to figure out what is g of two. So g of two is gonna rely on g's graph on the left-hand side. When we input a two as an x value, that's gonna go along with zero for a y value based on that point on the graph. So g composed with f of five is gonna eventually lead us all the way down to zero. All right, hope this helps out. Just take your time, work from the inside out. Good luck.